Hello, my name is Ada Vladimirovna and today we will talk about arterial hypertension. The topic of the lecture is the basic symptoms and syndromes of arterial hypertension. Aim of the lecture to learn and understand causes of development symptoms, signs, laboratory and instrumental data in patients with arterial hypertension. So here you could see the plan of the lecture, the static and cardiovascular morbidity in Ukraine, definition of hypertension types of hypertension, risk factors, classification of hypertension, details of physical examination, ECG and ultrasound in patients with hypertension, and details from physiological examination that indicate the secondary character of hypertension. In this picture you could see the statistic of cardiovascular morbidity in Ukraine. You see that ischemic heart disease have the leading position of the morbidity uh, of the patient. And every year in the medical institution are revealed uh, 650,000 uh, um, coronary heart disease patients. So, what is a hypertension? It is a rising of systolic blood pressure, 140 mm of hydrogen and higher, and diastolic blood pressure, 90 mm of hydrogen and higher. It is provided that such increase is stable, as that is confirmed by repeated measurements at least 2-3 times per week in 4 different days. So, the types of hypertension is essential and symptomatic. Essential cause unknown. It is a chronic disease with progressive course. The main clinical manifestation of each is increase of blood pressure when it is impossible to identify the cause of the apparent increase. Symptomatic is secondary called also a syndrome caused by secondary increase of blood pressure, at least so from some identifiable disease. What are the risk factors? Uh, of course, it's heredity, genetic factors, genetic predisposition, especially, um, especially the neonatal period, uh, uh, gender, age, uh, man, uh, um, it ages at higher than 55 years, woman higher than 65 years, smoking, some nutritional factors, of course, it is effect of alcohol, reducing of physical activity, increasing a level of cholesterol more than 5.2 millimol per liter, psycho-emotional factors, of course, could lead to hypertension, factors of uh, natural environment and presence of comorbidities. So, you should know that risk factors is the fact that accelerates the development of a pathological condition or contributes of its complication. Uh, pathogenesis of hypertension. Uh, we could have pressure effects and vasodepressor effects. Uh, pressure effect, uh, renin and get in the system, yes. Uh, uh, of course, um, Endotelina, aldosterone, catecholamines, vasopressin, troboxana 2, prostaglandin, hormones of the adrenal cortex have the effect to the blood pressure. And vasodepressor effects, it's the nitric oxide, it's uh, such as natriuretic peptides, insulin, of course, calicrin, kinin system, acetylcholine, system of uh, medulipin, prostaglandins I and uh, E, adenosine in, and aledoisine. So, in this uh, picture, you could see the scam, the mechanism of functioning of the renin angiotensin system, all start from angiotensin again that produced at liver. Also, renin uh, participated in this process that produced kidneys, uh, next angiotensin 1, and also participate ACE, vessel and endothelium. Uh, next, it's angiotensin 2 that lead, uh, uh, that have effect on the receptors of first type, and they uh, make a secretion of aldosterone, releasing of antidiuretic hormone, um, lead to cell growth, to vasoconstriction, to stimulation of sympathetic nervous system, to thirst and to the vasopressor effects that uh, have a uh, big attention at the blood pressure. So, the classification according to European Society of Cardiology, optimal blood pressure, it's when systolic blood pressure less than 120 mm of hydrogen and diastolic blood pressure less than 80 mm of hydrogen. Normal blood pressure, it's when systolic blood pressure less than 130, diastolic less than 85. 
high normal, it's when patient have from 130 to 139 systolic blood pressure and from 85 to 89 diastolic blood pressure. Also, according to European Society of Cardiology classification, hypertension starts from 140 to 159, it's first degree um, systolic blood pressure and if patient have from 90 to 99, diastolic blood pressure. Second degree start if patient have 160 to 179 systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure from 100 to 109. And third degree if uh, systolic blood pressure higher than 180 millimeters per hydrogen and diastolic more than 110 millimeters of hydrogen and of course patient could have isolated systolic blood pressure it's when only rise systolic blood pressure higher than 140 and diastolic less than 90. Complaints, main complaints, it uh, could be non-specific of the nervous system. Patient could tell you that they have headaches, dizziness, noise and ringing on the ears, transient visual disturbances, sleep disorders, emotional lability and even skin parasthesia. Of the cardiovascular system, palpitations, disruptions of the heart, aching and stabbing pains in the heart area, dyspnea, edema of the lower extremities. Uh, what are the details of physical examination? During inspection, um, patient could have often hypersthenic feature. Color of skin is pale or flushed, red or white dermographism you could see, and the instability in the Romberg pulse. Examination of pulse in blood pressure. Pulse you could feel strain, pulsus durus. Uh, of course, you will see elevated blood pressure. Circulation type hyperkinetic, elevated systolic blood pressure, hypokinetic elevated diastolic blood pressure and mixed increase of systolic and diastolic blood pressure. During palpation of precardial area, apex bead could be shifted to the left, pulled out and reinforced. Um, about percussion of the heart, it's also shifting in of the left border relative dullness to the left. During auscultation of the heart on the apex, uh, on the early stages uh, strengthening you could feel and then relaxation of first tone. On the aorta, ascent of the second tone, it is the most characteristic feature of blood pressure and possible hemodynamic systolic murmur, but ascent of the second tone, it is the most popular feature of it. On the ECG, you could see features of the left ventricular hypertrophy, on the echo CG, ultrasound of the heart, sickening of the intraventricular septum and sickening of the posterior wall of the left ventricle. It is necessary to research ifundus and narrow system in terms of cerebrovascular disorders. So what are the target organs from which primarily developing changes with increasing blood pressure? Of course, it is the heart, left ventricle, kidneys, brain and vessels of the retina. Here is the picture you could see the heart of the patients that have uh, for a long time hypertension. Uh, it is a hypertension complication, so pay attention to the left ventricular wall sicknesses. During ECG, um, on the ECG, patient could have uh, left ventricle hypertension. Sokolov-Leon index you should calculate is uh, R in V5, V6 plus S and V1, V2. If it is higher than 35 millimeters in patient who elder than 40 years and higher at the uh, for, uh, more than 45 millimeters in patient who younger than 40 years. Uh, also, you could calculate Cornell voltage index. So, uh, at this picture, ultrasound features of left ventricular hypertrophy, you can see it thickening of the posterior wall of the left ventricle and intraventricular septum more or 1.2 cm. Also, in this picture, you could see the damage of the retina, hypertensive angiopathy, narrowed, straight arterioles of the second order, dilated vents. So, please look dilated vents and at the right side, narrow arteries. Also, symptom of the silver wire, symptom of core crew, Huista it's called also, and feature of the stars in the macular area of the retina. You could see it, this picture. Also, uh, here you could see hypertensive retinopathy with massive hemorrhage during blood pressure. So, what is the classification of hypertension depending on the 
target organ damage first stage. Its objective signs damage of target organs are absent second stage. There are at least one of the following signs of target organ damage. Left ventricular hypertrophy, generalized retina artery narrowing, microalbuminuria and or a slight increase in blood creatinine concentration, carotid disease, intima media thickening more than 0.2 mm, and the third stage there is objective evidence of target organ damage with symptoms of their respective functions. Heart, it's myocardial infarction, heart failure, brain stroke, transient ischemic attack, hypertensive encephalopathy and vascular dementia, eye fundus, exudates and hemorrhages in the retina, like we see in the picture, swelling of the optic nerve retinal detachment and at kidneys development on the renal failure. Also, uh, classification of secondary etiological principle. First, renal hypertension, renoparenchymal, renovascular and hypertension after transplantation. Endocrine hypertension, pheochromocytoma, you know it is a tumor, uh, cushion syndrome, hyperaldosteronism, acromegaly, hyperparathyroidism, endothelin producing tumor, hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, hypertension menopause, diabetic kidney disease, and also could be pregnancy hypertension, cardiovascular hypertension. If patient have core patient of aorta, aortic valve insufficiency, aortic sclerosis, neurogenic hypertension, increased intracranial pressure, CNS injury, brain tumors, encephalitis and saturnism, hypertension caused be of course um, by medication and other substances and hypertensor after surgical treatment. Uh, what are the details from physical examinations that indicate to secondary character of hypertension? First of all, a moon phase, abdominal obesity, hirsutism, because think about cushion syndrome. Auscultation noise in the jugular fossa between the shoulder blades area, coarctation of aorta, maybe. Blood pressure on legs for 20-30 mm lower than in the hands, remember that in the legs blood pressure higher than in the hands, but if you see that it is lower, it could be coarctation of aorta. Attenuated pulse of the femoral artery of, of course also could be the coarctation of aorta. If you hear during auscultation noises in the area around the umbilical, it could tell us about renal artery stenosis. Increasing of kidneys is determined by palpation polycystic kidney. Diastolic blood pressure above 110 mm of hydrogen is typical for kidney damage. Increasing of the skull bones, limbs, acromegaly and symptoms of aortic valve insufficiency also you could feel. Thanks for your attention.